Welcome to Ecoholics. We are going to solve a question of Sackelberg model today. Here we have a question from 2014. I believe this was asked in the optional of Indian, uh, of Indian civil services. Here we have, there are only two firms in an industry, firm one and firm two. The market demand is given by a certain equation. So this is the equation here price is equal to 12 minus quantities of both the firms combined together and the total cost function facing the firms are ci is equal to 4 qi so here it means that the first firm has cost function is equal to 4 is equal to uh, 4 into q1 and the second firm 4 into q2 if firm 1 acts as a leader so this is very important this is how we'll deduce which model to solve here firm one acts as a leader and firm two acts as a follower what are the quantities that the two firms will produce in the equilibrium what profits will they earn so here we have the stackelberg model in which we have one firm which will be the leader and the other will be the follower in order to solve the stackelberg model what we have to do is we have to firstly find out the profit function of both the firms. We are aware that the first firm is the leader here. So the leader firm is going to find out the reaction curve of the second firm. The reaction curve is found out by taking the total profit of the second firm and differentiating this with respect to quantity that the second firm will supply. This will be put equal to zero and we will get the reaction curve of the second firm. This equation is going to give us a value of the second firm production in terms of the quantity produced by the first firm. We will put this reaction curve value into the profit function of the first firm and then we will maximize the profit function of the first firm by differentiating it with respect to quantity produced by the first firm and putting this equivalent to zero. This will give us a unique value for Q1 or the quantity produced by the first firm. This value again will be put in the reaction curve of the second firm which will allow us to get the value produced uh, value of the quantity produced by the second firm and then we can find the price charged by the firms and also then the profit of the first firm and the profit of the second firm. So let's solve the same numerical. So here we have the price function or the demand function for the entire market and we have the cost functions for both the firms. Now the first firm has been given as the leader. The leader has the ability to uh, find out the reaction curve of the second firm. So firstly, we'll find the reaction curve of the second firm. For this, we will require the profit function of the second firm. This will be equivalent to the total revenue by the second firm minus total cost of the second firm. So the total revenue comes out to be price into quantity that is supplied by the second firm. So the price function we have here so here we have a smaller value. So we will be putting this value here. We will be putting the total cost function also and we will solve for the same. So we will multiply this entire value of price with Q2 and we will get 12Q2 minus Q1, Q2 minus Q2 square. So this will be the profit function of the second firm. Now the second firm will try to maximize its own profit with respect to its own quantity and this is the expected behavior which will allow us to get the reaction curve. So we will differentiate this profit function with respect to Q2. So here we have 12 minus Q1 minus 2Q2 is equal to 0 or we have Q2 
is equal to q2 2q2 is equal to 12 minus q1 or we have q2 is equal to 6 minus q1 by 2 so this is the reaction curve of the second form now in the Stackelberg model, the first firm being the leader will realize that the second firm is acting on the Cournot assumption and will keep its quantities as fixed. So he will now have the upper hand and he will insert this reaction curve in his own profit function. This profit function is going to be denoted by total revenue of the first firm minus total cost of the first firm. So here, instead of taking quantity by the second firm we will also we will be taking quantity by the first firm and just multiplying the same profit uh, price function with q1 so we will get the value of total revenue of the first firm and we will also put the value of the total cost of the first firm let's go for the same now we have the market demand functions and the cost functions for the two firms individually we know that the, there is the first firm which has understood that the second firm is behaving on the Kuno assumption and keeping its output as fixed now the first firm which is the sophisticated firm or the leader will be finding out the reaction curve of the second firm for this he will find out the profit of the second firm this profit is given by the total revenue of the second firm minus total cost of the second firm and because any firm is tempted to maximize its own profit this firm will also maximize this with respect to its own quantity so there will be a differentiation with respect to q2 here and there will be a value that will come out so let's solve the same firstly we will find out the reaction curve of the second firm for this we find out the profit function for the second firm this will be total revenue of the second firm minus total cost of the second firm total revenue is equivalent to price into quantity which is produced by the second firm this price is having this value so we will multiply this entire function with respect to q2 so here we get total revenue equivalent as 12 q2 minus q1 q2 minus q2 square we also will put the cost function so we have minus 4 q2 which is the cost incurred by the second firm here we have the profit function we can either combine these values so let's just go ahead and do the same we have 8 q2 minus q1 q2 minus q2 square this is the profit function the second firm will be maximizing its own profit when it's when it differentiates this profit function with respect to q2 and puts the same equivalent to zero so here we have first order derivation of the profit function of the second firm with respect to quantity supplied by the second firm we get 8 minus q1 minus 2 q2 is equal to 0 or we can say that q2 is equal to 4 minus q1 upon 2 this is the reaction curve of the second firm the second firm is the follow firm and this reaction curve will be taken up by the leader firm the first firm and this will be put in its own profit maximizing equation the profit of the first firm is nothing but if we follow the same method we get total uh, revenue of the first firm equivalent to price into quantity supplied by the first firm minus total cost by the first firm so here if we simply multiply this price equation with respect to with q1 we will get the same total revenue function for the first firm let's have 
a complete value here. So this is the profit function for the first firm, which is the leader firm. We get 12 Q1 minus Q1 square minus Q1 Q2. This is the total revenue for the first firm. We will subtract the total cost, which is 4 Q1. We can club the values together and we get 8 Q1 minus Q1 square minus Q1 Q2. Now, we will use the reaction curve that the leader firm found out for the first firm, for the second firm. The value of Q1 that we found out will be inserted here. This value was 4 minus Q1 upon 2 and we get 8Q1 minus Q1 square minus 4Q1 minus plus. So we have two minuses and we have Q1 square upon 2 which is the profit function for the first firm. Now, the first firm is free to maximize its own profit with respect to the quantity it produces. So here we get, so here we get 4Q1 minus Q1 square upon 2. We are combining these two terms here. So minus Q1 square plus Q1 square by 2 is minus Q1 square by 2. This is the profit function for the first firm. The first firm is free to maximize the same. So we will go ahead with first order differentiation of this profit function and put the value equivalent to 0. So this is the profit function for the first firm, which is the leader firm. Going ahead with the first order differential, we get the value of Q1 equivalent to 4. So the quantity that will be produced by the first firm or the leader firm will be 4. And we can put this value for the second firm also. The reaction curve of the second firm was Q2 is equal to 4 minus Q1 by 2. Here putting the value of 4 we get 4 minus 4 by 2, which is 2. So the quantity that will be supplied by the second firm comes out to be 2. So the follow firm is producing a lesser quantity as compared to the leader firm. We can also find out the value of price if we insert the values of the quantities in the price function. Let's do the same here. So now putting the values of Q1 and Q2, which were 4 and 2 in this price function, we get 12 minus 4 plus 2, which is 12 minus 6. So this comes out to be 6. So the price that will be set by both the firms will be 6. We've also been asked in the question to find out the profit functions or the profit values for both the firms. So the profit of the first firm is price into quantity of uh, supplied by the first firm. So we have 6, which is the price, multiplied by the quantity that the first firm or the leader firm was producing. It was producing 4 minus the cost function. So the cost function was 4 Q1. The value of Q1 is 4 here. So we have 4 into 4, or we have uh, 24 minus 16 or 8 as the profit for the first firm. Similarly, we can find out the profit for the second firm. This comes out to be price into quantity that is set by the second firm. So this is 2 minus the cost that is set for the second firm. So 4Q2. So Q2 is 2 and we have 4 into 2 and we get 12 minus 8 or 4 which is the profit function for the second firm. So here we realize that in the Stackelberg model, any firm which is able to find out that the other firm is not following or, or is following the Kuno assumption, then 
the firm can become a leader and take some extra profits if possible through the cost functions. So this is how you solve this numerical of Stackelberg model very easily. For more content, please subscribe to our channel and like and share. Thank you. Have a good day.